The average salary in Taiwan is approximately 677,000 kwai. The cost of a one-bedroom apartment in a city in Taiwan is approximately 12,000 to 30,000 kwai or NT per month. The average healthcare cost in Taiwan is around 826 kwai or NTD per month. Feels like daydreaming, chemistry in Tainan, uh, which is in the southern part of Taiwan, it's known as the culture and food capital of Taiwan. I wanted to see, because I've been traveling, how much I'm spending and how much that compares to the average person here in Taiwan according to the statistics I found. I think it'd be interesting to look at the finances of someone who would be living here in Taiwan. And so according to the average statistics that I found online, and if we were to follow the 80-20 rule, which is an investment rule stating that you are able to spend 80% of your income, whereas you save 20% of it. So if we were to look at the daily cost of a person living here in Taiwan, these are the numbers. And if you were to factor in the living cost, which is around 21,000 kwai, which is going to be the median of that monthly rent range that I mentioned earlier, divided by 31, that's going to be your daily spending on housing. And then if you were to take the healthcare cost per month and then divide that by 31, that is going to be your healthcare cost per day. So if you were to take that first number minus the two numbers, then you would get your daily allowance, I guess, if you were to be a Taiwanese citizen and following that 80 20 investment rule. So, kind of a lot, I guess, if you really think about it. I'm gonna see if I can beat this number, meaning I can get below it. So, for this video, I'm not going to, I guess, hinder any of my spending habits. I'm just gonna spend as if I would spend any other day, meaning since I've been traveling, I will be buying souvenirs and also eating food and, you know, getting water as I walk around or the bus or whatever, public transportation costs. I'm gonna be interested to see myself what it's gonna look like. Let's go. Yeah. We're here at the bus station. We made it to the bus. I'm not entirely sure though if I'm gonna make it to the bus on time because last time I waited for the bus here, it was it was late by like I don't even know. I after like 10 minutes I decided to leave and just walk. But I'm hoping that the bus is gonna show up on time. Oh wow, actually in this light you can kind of see. I don't know. Every time I decide to film, I break out pretty badly. But we're gonna take the public bus because it's like a 40 minute walk. And the reason why I'm in athletic wear right now is because. It's so hot, and I think I'm sweating right now a little bit. If I wear like regular clothing, I'm gonna sweat through all of it. So I'm gonna take the bus into downtown and go to a cultural center because Tainan used to be like the old capital of Taiwan, and maybe they have some history there. I'm just gonna walk around downtown and see if I'm able to keep within my budget. So let's go onto the bus and just wait until the bus comes here. So yeah, let's, let's wait. Intuition, just wanna follow intuition All my senses, tell me I know what you've been thinking I know, I know. I've been feeling, what if we got up, left this party Cause I can see you probably gonna be scrolling feeds all night long And your friends are drunk And the DJ keeps playing the same songs And time isn't moving along so I'm here at a coffee shop. It's called My Coffee, but they have other stuff other than just coffee. They have, it looks like they have like Korean food here. Uh, I just thought I'd stop in and get some food to eat before I start actually exploring the city because yeah, I'm really hungry and it's super hot. So I need some AC to cool myself down. And I'm gonna just eat, I ordered beef curry and it was like, one, it was 180 kwai or NTD. Take that from the budget and it looks like the bus ride was about also 15 kwai, so. Yeah, the total right now is 195. Yeah, so that's not looking too good for the budget. I think I've already spent a little bit less than half, so sell the rest of the day, but I'm just gonna eat now and then tell you all where we're gonna go later. So let's eat some beef curry. 
And I still got some fears Oh, that you don't love me like I love you And that always gets me down I will call it in and I'll make you feel like you on the cloud And you can't sit still when we on the floor When I'm on the force, when you use the force, it's no problem Thank you. Thank you. All right, well, <laughs> just left the cafe, and I think I decided where I'm gonna go. So there's just so much stuff here in Tainan, like cultural things, like there are a lot of temples and all that stuff, but I feel like I saw a lot of temples in Thailand, and I'm not too keen on seeing those more again here in Tainan, so I think I'm gonna go, there's like this structure, or like, it looks like on Google Maps, like a structure of islands, and I'm planning on being there around like 5.30 because I wanna fly my drone around there, and I think it looked really pretty, because the sun rises in the east, sets in the west, and we're on the western side of Taiwan, so it's gonna set on the that western side there, and I think it'll just be beautiful, especially since the weather's so nice. Like the last like week I've been here, there was a typhoon, so like I couldn't even go outside. I couldn't get any visuals, so I'm hoping that I'll be able to fly my drone tonight. It'll look super nice because yesterday it was like pink skies, purple clouds, like it looked like something from a movie, it looked like cotton candy in the sky. So hopefully I'll be able to capture something like that tonight on the drone. So I'm gonna walk in that direction and it seems like this area that I'm walking in, I'll be walking through like a very touristy part. So hopefully I'll be able to get some stuff. I think I'm just gonna track my spending habits today. It'll be kind of interesting to see how much I actually spend. Oh, well it's kind of funny because like, I just mentioned I don't want to see any more temples, but I guess we're on the very cultural side of Tainan, so I guess it makes sense that there's so many of these temples here. There's like one just right, right here, actually. It's kind of crazy, it's just right there. Actually, it looks more like a shrine. Like, yeah, these are a couple of shrines, it looks like. But yeah, I'm gonna show you around this area, this neighborhood, because on Google Maps it's supposed to be a very cultural neighborhood. A lot of little shops, so I'll show you all what it's like. the famous road here. No, like you can find something to drink, something to eat. Okay. Uh -huh. And when you walk on the main road, yeah. you will find a secret, it's like, a, it's very interesting to find an uh, entrance of Shenong, Shenongjie. It's like secret? Yeah, it's because the entrance is very small. Okay. Just walk, walk, uh, oh, there is a, a street, you know. <laughs> okay, okay. Where, where is it here? Is it right there? Oh, entrance is here. Right there at night time. Mm? Night time to go yeah, back. Yeah, you, you should. Um, if you have time, I think you can oh. come back. Oh, I have all the time in the world, so I'm I'm free all the time. So. Okay. Yeah, yeah I'll probably come. come here then. Um, so it's underneath Alice DIY in this street. Sorry, I'm gonna pin it. That's why here. Oh, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, where are you from? Uh, Seattle. Oh. Oh, you know Seattle? I know, of course I know. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yes, I know. Well, <laughs> there are many lanterns. Lantern, oh, okay. On the street, uh, 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 on the building. I know Seattle, Seattle Sonics. Oh, what? The basketball team? Yeah. yeah. But that's like a long time ago. Uh, yes, but there is no basketball team in Seattle. Yeah, it's, it turned into OKC. Uh, like, yeah, 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 yeah. This is Monday to Sunday. Oh, really? And uh, different Monday? night market. In Thailand. Oh, so okay. it's a uh, like a uh, poetry. You have to, you, you 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 just you can remember what night market open today. Monday is Da Dong Yes, Da Dong Da Dong, Wu Hua, Wu Sheng Hua Yuan, Da Dong Wu Sheng Hua Yuan. You know. Oh, you really I, I didn't know that. I didn't you know. That. I I bought it because there's there were all the little. <laughs> 
shacks. <laughs> okay. Or the hawker hawker. Is that special um hold you uh, or this is Oh no, it's it just a the name of the soup. You say you, you yeah, yeah, order, yeah. order right? Yeah, yeah. This is the name. Yeah. Alright, thank you. Okay, thank you. No name is your English name or your Korean name. It's my it's like my full name, Xiaofan. Shu Shen. Shu Shen. <laughs> Shu Shen. Okay. Shu Shen. Right? Shu Shen. Shu Shen. Shu Shen. Okay, thank you so it's much. It's okay. If you forget my name, it's okay. Shu Shen. Because it's too hard to. It is kind of hard, I'm sorry. Yeah. Because, <laughs> mm. Actually, uh, I always. I think I should use English name, right? But it's a. Uh, because in Taiwan, nobody call me Ken, you know. Okay. I use Ken when I go to Thailand. <laughs> to shopping, and they were saying thank goods to my hotel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He have to write Nan told me you can call me Shushan. Shushan. Yeah. Thank you, Shushan. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. And then, sorry, what's your store called? Huh? Your your store, the name. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Bye, Bye. 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 <laughs> Thank you. Bye. All right. So that was the store. Oh yeah, yeah. You saw me meet Shushan. Uh, check out his store if you're here. I got like a little postcard and a little gift for my sister. So uh, add that to the budget. It was another like, wait, 115. So whatever that will be for the total. But he recommended some spots to me, and it looks like I'll go there. Very nice guy. Honestly, I was a little bit scared by him in the beginning because I thought he was kind of harsh and condescending, but I think it was just a uh, misunderstanding. So we're gonna go to some of the places that he recommended, I think. Or he recommended a market that I should go to. And he did say that I should spend more time in Tainan at night. Oh, what the? But he did say that I should come back at a different time. So I'm gonna probably come back to this street. I don't know, uh, the name is like Shidong. Sh anyway, something like that, but wait, maybe the name's here. No, but yeah, I went to, he told me to come back at night, so I'm gonna come to this market at night. But right now I'm gonna go to a department store because he said that it's really popular here in Tainan. So I'm gonna go to this department store that's around here. So let's head to that. the snacks right here. got some bubble tea at this place called Hisakawa. I ordered a taro milk tea and they made it out of all this tar that they mushed together from this container that they had. And this is what it looks like here. But I'm pulling off to the side of the road here off of alleyway because I'm headed towards a lot of little islands. It's like maybe swamp land, but I'm gonna walk there. I only have like an hour to get there before it starts setting. So finish this bubble tea. It's pretty good actually, I really liked it. And then we'll head over, so let's go. Power of the many, power of the many is better than one, but 
finish this. to the spot, bought some water, added that to the tally. Also, I bought some coffee and uh, onigiri from 7-Eleven. So that was like about 35 kwai, plus this water, which is like 30 kwai. So spending money left and right. Looks like, I feel like I like spending money. So this is a good video to see how much money I'll spend compared to the national average here in Taiwan. So I'm here at the riverbank. As you can see, I was just kind of looking out and seeing all the, I guess, how quiet it is here. There's only like stray animals, people running. It's pretty barren otherwise. And then you have the occasional birds as you can hear in the background. But yeah, I don't know where I am exactly, except I'm at the edge of the city, I think, or maybe at the very middle of it. I'm not really sure. The city is kind of confusing, I think, at least the breakdown of it. It's like, there's the North District, West District, East District, and South District. And I'm assuming there's a Central District in the middle of those four directions. I'm staying in the East Districts and I made my way all the way over to the West District by walking, so I'm tired. I really want to get this shot. This, the sky looks beautiful, like I'm looking at this way. Um, it's blocked by some houses, so I can't really show you, but I'm gonna fly my drone here. I think I'm outside of the zone, the restricted zone here in Tainan, because there is one. I saw some jets flying earlier and I think they're kind of done, so I'm not too afraid of any other things flying around, but I think it'll be kind of beautiful and I want you all to see the place. So without further ado, I'm going to finish this water, show you some clips of this place. So here's some drone aerials and some aerial views. Turn on. So here we go. Right, how should I do this? from Thailand it's how to read the weather especially in rainy places and I'm telling you right now I had to kind of cut the drone sequence short because the weather is looking really bad right now like you saw how nice it was on the shots this side of the, su of the sky is like really nice but let me just show you real quick what this other side is looking like and I heard thunder earlier while I was flying so I need to get back home it's I'm like literally like almost 10 kilometers away from home so I have to get walking <laughs> Yeah, I have to get back. This is bad. to go to a market at the very last second before it started pouring rain. Anyway, I'm here at a beef soup, noodle noodle soup restaurant. This is what it looks like. The name I cannot pronounce, it's in Chinese or Mandarin, so I'm just gonna drop it right here. Uh, Ken, who was the guy from the Shenan Street, that historic street that I was just at, uh, at the store, the souvenir shop, he gave me this note that says beef noodle soup because he told me that I need to eat beef noodle soup here in Tainan. So that's what I'm gonna do. And that's how I found this restaurant. I just searched on Google beef noodle soup and this was like seven minutes away and I didn't wanna go too far because of the rain. So 
I'm here and I'm struggling because I can't read Chinese again. And the thing he gave me, I can't, can't read it. And I'm just trying to match the characters up with like basically what's on here. But I'm also struggling. I don't know. I think, I think I'm good at matching, but I just want to make sure that I get the right thing. Because there are so many variations of beef noodle soup, I feel like, that I keep on ordering the wrong thing. Because I want, like, the original. So I'm going to go ask them, like, which one matches up. And they don't speak English here, so this is going to be kind of tough. So I'm going to go up and ask them real quick. I'm going to use Google Translate to help me. This has this. So, wish me luck. place was pretty good. It was only 130 kwai or NTD. 30 kwai or 30 NTD is equal to 1 USD or 1 dollar. So pretty good. Good deal. I'm interested to see how much I spent all day today because I was just kind of going as if I would normally go. Today was a little bit more than usual I'd say because it was hot and I was also walking quite a bit so that's why I was spending more than usual. But that restaurant I just went to, their noodles are I think cut differently than normal noodles. They look like, I think when I read online, it's like shaved noodles, so that's why it was a lot thicker. And it was a lot chewier when I was eating, which was really good in the beef. I think this is pretty customary, a beef noodle soup. I'm no expert, but I've had it like a couple times, and the beef is supposed to be really, really soft and tender, which is what it was when I was eating it there. So I'm gonna see you all at home. 21 degrees and sunny Just the way I always wanted It was just kind of funny, the demographic of her audience that was there. So I'm walking back and I'm actually headed through the same street that I was at earlier where I was at the shop. The shop owner did say to come back at the nighttime because it changes like the whole scenery. So I'm gonna try to show you all some of the scenery and then go back home. So here you go. Again, here you go. The bluebirds peaceful to sing along. Yeah. I think it's maybe about the, the price of building. I think maybe. Oh, in is Thailand, it? Thailand, you have to buy a house. Uh, it's not a building, it's like a three room and two toilet and one kitchen. Like a house? Yeah, but it's not single building. It's a, like... Like it's split in half? Yes. Oh, like, like a duplex? My, my home is seven floor and there are 200 and more house. You know what I'm talking about? I don't, is there, is it in the U.S.? I no, know. I mean... I know, I know, but in the U.S. do they have that? I don't know. Oh. Because America is very big. Maybe, 
apartment? Apartment? Yes, apartment. Yes, oh, yes, oh, yes, 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 yes. So my apartment is like. Uh, you know, per per year. No, I I oh, buy. Oh, you bought it. Bought it. But in Taipei, maybe double. Double the price in Taipei. But I don't know in America. It's okay. Wait, let me do the math real quick. Forty, four hundred thirty-three, and and what thousand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Half, almost half a million. Uh, million. Oh, half a million. Almost half a million. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, almost. Yeah, half, half, half. Yes. Almost half. Yeah. It's cheaper. Yeah. Well, it but depends in the U.S. You different city. Yeah, I think it's the same price in some cities. Your income is higher than Taiwan, so that's true. Taiwan is really expensive about uh, to buy a house. Okay. It's really hard. That was just the price of a house here in Tainan, right? Hmm? Your 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 apartment. My apartment. What? Yeah, the cost. The cost. Uh, right. Oyster. Okay. Thank you. You're like giving me like assignments. Like this is my assignment. Assignment. Yeah, you're giving you like my teacher. Like uh, you give me assignments to do. <laughs> so I'll go here tonight then for tonight. So. Okay, you should introduce to everybody about this cool thing. Is it oyster omelet? That's what he's telling me. Right. Uh, yeah, omelet. Yes, yes. Oh. Oyster omelet. Yes. Seventy dollar. Seventy dollars? Oh, oh, oh quad. Uh, and the box. NTD, NTD. NTD, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Enjoy. I'll go try now. And I mean, oh, oh, when I go. The shop is is really oh. nearby. Here. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. <laughs> My Taiwanese teacher. All right. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. That was unexpected. Didn't think I'd come back here again. He's giving me assignments here. This is like another place to go. Oh shoot, it's raining. This is like another place to go to egg omelet. So let's go. Uh, well, can I have one of these? Yeah, just one. Yeah, for here. Okay. Alright, sure, Thank you. There. Alright, thanks. As you saw, I paid 70 kwai for this omelet. I think this will definitely be my last thing that I'm gonna buy here. I really have to get back. And my phone's almost out of battery, my camera's almost out of battery. Teacher Ken, who was the guy that gave me all that those recommendations. He's like the guy that's telling me right now where to go in Tainan, so it's nice that he's giving me all these like local eats because I don't think I would have gone here or to these places if he hadn't told me. But he was basically telling me also that the cost of his apartment here in Tainan was that price. That's like almost half a million dollars. He was telling me that the cost, or which is a good point, that the average wage here in Tainan is also a lot less than in the US. So relative to how much it costs, it's even more because they have to work so much more in order to get to that level of price and be able to afford that. So kind of crazy, but Anyway, I'm gonna talk more financials later. I'm almost out of battery and I wanna eat this and show you what it is. He said I have to eat this here in Tainan. It's a very like big thing here in Tainan since it's the city of food and culture. So I'm gonna show it to you all. Thank you. I'm gonna dig in now. Thanks for the recommendation, Ken. I wish I maybe met you sooner so that I can try more food. But if you're watching this, thank you so much for the recommendation. Maybe I might eat the beef noodle soup again, or like a beef soup. That's what you called it. The walk back was so long. I'm kind of curious to see like how much I actually walked because yeah, I walked pretty far. It took like almost, it looked, took like an hour and a half to walk all the way back. I walked like a total of seven kilometers from the drone spot all the way back home. So yeah, that took a long time from here to here. I'm not gonna talk too much about my walk because the main point of the video is to see how much I compare in my spending as a tourist here to, I guess, someone who lives here. So again, on this side is how much it would take to spend to live here for an average person in Taiwan based on some numbers I found. And then here on my right side, that is how much I spent. So I'm gonna go over it real quickly. First, I had the bus, which is about 15 kwai. And then I had my first meal, which was beef curry. Maybe I shouldn't have chosen beef curry being in Taiwan, but you know, it is what it is. That was 180 kwai. At Oya, I bought uh, some souvenirs for my sister and that was 115 kwai. We have a couple more expenses where I got bubble tea, which was 65 kwai. And then I got the coffee, the onigiri and water, which all three of those things were about 65 kwai. Last two things were 
the beef noodle soup, which was 130 kwai. Last but not least, the oyster omelet that Ken recommended, which was 70 kwai. Actually, I do have one more thing. As I was walking back, I was so tired and I thought maybe I should drink something or I might pass out. So I got this drink. Here, wait, let me go get it real quick. So I don't know what this is, but I had it at Alan's restaurant, uh, the guy in Taipei. It's called Song Sarsapila. Basically, it tastes like, to me, it tastes like a mix of like root beer and Coke. So this is the name. I don't know. We don't have it in the US, so I thought I'd get it before I can't get it anymore. And that was about 20 kwai. So in total, all of those things, if you look at the sum here, 660 kwai, that's how much it was, which is actually below the number that I, I calculated for a Taiwanese citizen which is kind of interesting, kind of makes sense. I don't know if that national average is more suited for Taipei, but Tainan is also cheaper to be in as a tourist just because it's not the capital city. I'm a little bit surprised myself to see that because I didn't put any restrictions on myself except for maybe the walking because I thought I should save some money by not taking an Uber or a bus, another bus ride back. Plus I like exercise, you know, saving money by walking. And it was also interesting to hear what Ken was saying about the house here, how it's like almost half a million dollars. I would think it'd be a little bit cheaper here in Tainan, but he did say that housing prices are pretty high. And also one thing that we did talk about is that as a tourist coming to Taiwan, hotels and hostels are, I think on average, more expensive than other places in the world, which is kind of interesting. So he was mentioning that Taiwanese people tend to, if they were to travel, not travel within Taiwan, but outside to other countries. So. That's interesting to hear. It's kind of crazy who I run into when I'm just going into places like this and just kind of talking to the owners of the stores or whatever, and or just talking to random people in the cities and countries I go to. I really love those interactions and I'm gonna miss it because I don't think I'll have too many of those in Seattle when I get back. Cause I am coming back soon. This is one of the few videos I have left. So if you find this interesting, let me know in the comments or like this video to let me know you, you enjoyed it. Also forgot to mention, Ken and I took some selfies. Here they are. It's been interesting because people, other people in Taiwan have also asked me for selfies. I don't know what it is, but maybe YouTube fame. No, just kidding. Yeah, I don't know why they want to take selfies with me. But it's cool. Just thought I'd add that at the end here. Thank you all for watching. See you all in the next video. Bye. I'm not sponsored, but maybe one day I'll be sponsored. So if you're in Taiwan, try this out.